Horizon Scorpio, welcome to my channel. All right, so we're just going to see what's going on for you. This will not resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest. All right, so I think I'm going to start off with the tarot. So I'm getting a lot of mixed messages with the uh, oracles, okay? So let's see, what's coming up for Scorpio? What do you need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? All right, so it looks like you have the Fool, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower, okay? So there may be something that you wanted, you saw, that was a good idea to go after, and it turned out not to be such a good investment here, okay? It also may have had to do something with your Pentacles here. Um, some type of move that you made may have caused you some type of financial disruption it could be because you were collaborating with someone that was not for your highest good Ooh, someone from your past okay so yeah there was something that happened here that didn't work out you took that leap and yeah it was a no bueno this wasn't for you all right yeah so now someone is stuck trapped Unable to move forward, thinking about what happened in the past, unable to release what happened. You're not moving forward from the situation, sweetheart. That's not good. That's not good. All right, we all make mistakes, but you got to move on from this. All right, let's see. Yeah, the hangman. Somebody's seeing this from a different perspective. Damn, I shouldn't have did that. I should have waited. I should have waited until... I got more evidence, more more clarity, more um, insight on what I was getting into. I shouldn't have did that. Let's see. Yeah, see, now karma is coming back and you're reaping karma for the situation. Let me see. This was an act of poor judgment, possibly getting with someone, okay? Like I said, you were involved with someone, someone from your past. And uh, yeah, this was not a good investment here. This was possibly somebody that you looked at as wish fulfillment, somebody that was stable um, financially doing their own thing. And you found out just the opposite. This also dealing with this person may have affected your pinnacles as well. And someone is stuck here thinking about the moves that they made and also realizing what they've gotten themselves into. You cut this person off and ended it and you're, you know, repairing your life, transforming, getting yourself together, balancing your, your feelings out and everything. But it's just the process is a pain in the butt. That's what I'm getting. I don't want to use, don't want to use this. Let's see. So, yeah, it looks like you release somebody. Possibly, you know. That was somebody that wasn't, you know, cool at all. It was a lot of turbulence here. The relationship wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't bearing fruit. It pretty much was what it was. It wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't, it was stagnant. There was no growth here. Amongst other things, there could have been a third party situation going on with that Three of Pentacles, which is what I was kind of picking up, but... I'm going to leave it alone unless it comes back out. Give me more on the phone here for Scorpio. All right. So, yeah. Um, somebody probably thought this was wish fulfillment, okay? And they took that leap of faith. It didn't work out. And now someone is having to balance themselves out, get their life back on track, and heal from this situation. Let's see. Yeah, this was definitely regarding a union. All right, so let's see. Someone just made a mistake and got with the wrong person. And it's somebody that you really cared about. Yeah, someone wanted to bring balance to this situation. It was unequal. It was unequal give and take. And no matter how much you gave, 
this person was not uh, reciprocating what you were giving, okay? So someone definitely made a judgment call to remove themselves from the situation. But you're energetically tied to this person. Why? Stuck. Someone wants a new start. Someone is waiting for a new start with this person. You're waiting to hear from this person. Death and rebirth. You're waiting to hear from this person to get it restarted so you can... Oh, my goodness. Sweetheart. Yeah, somebody's waiting for someone to come in with offer a cup of love and an apology or something for whatever they did. I don't know. Somebody's waiting for this person. Look at this. Look at this. Someone sees this. Look, you got the hangman clarifying it and hangman again. You got the four of cups in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse. Somebody's looking at this as a missed opportunity. But was it? Was it a missed opportunity? Or is it this what you want with this person? This is what you want with this person, but you realize you're dealing with someone who is noncommittal and is never going to bring balance to the situation. But the four of wands is what you want. I don't think that's what you're going to get with this person. To be honest, you can wait and wait and wait, but I don't think this person is going to offer you what you're waiting for. Let me see. Yeah, see, somebody wants a brand new beginning here. Passionate beginning, but there's conflict. There's conflict between you guys. I also see the Ten of Pentacles sitting out here. This person might already have a family. I don't know. Let me see. Give me Two of Cups. Justice. See, justice is... Karma is here. This is not supposed to... Mm -mm. I don't see this coming together. This is not supposed to come together with this person because you're worth more than what this person is trying to give you. Yeah, somebody needs to move forward from this situation here. You have new love coming for you, but you can't see it because somebody is stuck here. Give me more on the Queen of Swords. Give me more on the Queen of Swords. Yeah, okay, so... There is something unexpected that's going to happen. I hope this isn't you rushing into this person to give some type of apology or some type of confession of love or whatever. But there's a possibility that when this person comes in to offer this apology or whatever, oh, is somebody in their ego? There's a possibility that you may cut this person off and end this situation for good when they come back. Okay, look, this is not for everybody, but I'm telling you, this is unexpected. Someone here was hurt by someone that they had a lot of feelings for. They found out that this person kept them in a third party or there possibly was a third party situation. Whatever it was, this person was not given equally to the situation, okay? It was off balance. Something here was wrong. Someone here realized that they got into a relationship with someone who was basically gaslighting them, telling them what they wanted them to hear because they wanted the sex. Whatever it was here that this person wanted from you, the sex, the attention, the time, if you were giving this person money, whatever it is, this person was using this energy to get what they wanted from you. Someone realized here that they took a leap of faith in the wrong direction, okay, and ended up stuck with a situation where there's no growth. So someone put an end to this situation, started focusing on themselves to heal. Now they're starting to look at the situation in a different perspective. However, someone is seeing this as a missed opportunity, but it could be a person that's seeing you as a missed opportunity, but I'm not thinking so. You got somebody that's really in their ego here, but whoever is thinking this was a missed opportunity, sweetheart, it was not. It was a lesson. It could have been good if someone here had been on the up and up, but they weren't. They were being shady. And it's not going to work if there's a third person in the, in, in the mix. Karma's always going to come back. And this is what's happening here. Somebody is having a personal tower 
possibly because you cut this person off, left the situation. They want to reunite, okay? A new beginning, passionate beginning sex, okay? So maybe this was a sexual relationship between you and this, this person here. I don't know, but karma is being served here when it comes to this situation. And I'm telling you, if you don't leave this person alone... Source is going to allow this person to hurt you even more than what you're hurt. And I think someone realizes this and possibly is expecting this person to come back with some type of apology. However, my issue with this is, is that, okay, I feel that, you know, this person isn't good for you. You're ready to cut it off. But what I have an issue is, is that I'm feeling that somebody is doing this out of ego, Someone really wants this person. They know that this person is not good for them. However, someone wants this person to rush in and offer this apology. Someone wants this person to come in and say, hey, you know what? I want you just so that they can turn them down. I don't know who this is, but someone here, their ego was hurt when they found out the situation that this person was uh, had them in, and they want to return this favor. And when they cut them off, this is going to be so cold. I'm just saying it's going to be so cold. And unfortunately, the person that cuts them off is going to feel really damn good. Like, you know what? Mm, I got your back. How about that? I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Oh my, that's that's kind of mean here. But okay, um, let me see. Let's find out for new love. What's coming for wow, I asked for new love and on the bottom of the deck. All right, what's up with new love for Scorpio? All right, so right about now, you're a bit guarded, all right. Kind of keeping people at bay, not being funny. Someone here may have a lot of people coming at you, um, trying to date you, trying to sleep with you or whatever, trying to get to know you. But I think some of these people may not be uh, your preference. So you're kind of keeping people at bay, possibly because of the things that happen with this other person. Oh, my God. And because you were interested in this other person. Look at you. Mm -mm. Sweetheart, you got to let this person go. This past person, you got to let this person go because they are all in your energy. It doesn't look like you're going to let anybody in because of something that happened in your past with a player. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. All right, beyond this person here, you got to clear your energy of this, of this person, like literally. And don't try to get revenge, all right, because if you're being spiteful, Believe me, it's going to come back. That karma is going to come back. You want to leave this situation with a clear conscience. If it didn't work out, okay, you know I got to take that L, that lesson, all right? Because I'm quite sure your intuition was telling you something about this person when you got with them, okay? It always does. We just don't listen, all right? So, yeah, there's that. Um, don't try, try to seek revenge on this person. Just move on with their life. And believe me, that um, infinity loop of karma will come back and it's going to hit with momentum, okay? This person could end up losing you and the other person that they had you, you know, mixed up with. So, I'm just saying. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But this is you, boo. You ain't got to listen to me. I'm just telling you what I see. All right? So, let's see. New love for Scorpio. All right. You have six of cups. This could be someone that you already know, someone that you grew up with. Um, this could be someone that is a friend, someone that you may meet at a party or something like that, a celebration or whatever. This could also be someone that um, you feel very familiar with. You may meet this person and you guys automatically, you know, hit it off or whatever. Dang, like I feel like I know you, I've known you for a lifetime or whatever. All right. So, yeah, this could be someone that you meet while you're out with friends or celebrating or something like this. I also believe that this is a person that likes to have a lot of fun and things like that. You all enjoy yourself with this person. Let's see. I believe that this is going to be a person that's going to give equally. This is someone that is very patient. This is also someone that may be um, in your surroundings already waiting for the opportunity to come towards you to come and speak. All right, have a conversation with you, okay? This person also may think that you're a little bit out of their league. 
So they have it move closer, uh, you know, move towards you. Or this person could actually see that you're still, you know, your heart is connected with someone else and you're not really interested in them. But I, I see someone trying to give to you. Okay. This is someone that may need a lot of courage and um, <laughs> they may need a lot of courage to uh, come and talk to you. You may be a bit intimidating. Um, this also may be a person that has a lot of pride about themselves, or maybe you may feel that they are, um, they see what they want and they go after what they want. This person, um, doesn't really back down. They will give you your space if they see that you're in, you know, in a situation of going through something, they'll let you heal and, and give you time to do your thing before they approach. But I think this person sees what they want. They know what they want and they're going to actually come and get it. They're waiting for the right opportunity. Somebody is waiting for you to heal here. Let's see. What else? I'm getting a lot of... Uh, hold on. Yeah, this person is actually going to come and talk to you. They are going to express some feelings for you. They want for a movement. Damn, this person... Yeah, you got somebody coming after you, sweetheart. You got the Ace of Swords, you got the Queen of Cups, you have the World, you have the Ace of Coins, and the Nine of Coins, okay? So yeah, this person possibly sees you as pre-empress, wish fulfillment, they want to make this Nine of Pentacles or Ten Pentacles, give you something um, uh, stable, firm, okay? Firm foundation, move forward together, okay? They have a lot of love for you or will ex show you a lot of love, okay? If you allow this person to come in. Someone wants to come in and tell you that they actually have feelings for you too. And that, you know, this person sees that, you know, you've gone through some things in the past. Dealt with some headaches and nightmares or whatever. They understand what you're going through. But they see the Ten of Pentacles with you and they want to start building towards something solid, okay? All right. So, yeah, you do have someone new coming in for you, which is a beautiful thing. I love it. There are some things that you got to release from your past with her, okay? All right. So, and um, like I said, when this person comes in, don't be vindictive, you know, and try to one-up this person. If they come in and apologize and you don't want to be with them or whatever, your apology is accepted if you choose to do so. It would be for your highest good to do so. Um, accept this person's apology and uh, just close that door, okay? All right, so it says man. Dealings or relationship with a man. This could be somebody that's dealing with a man here in a relationship or masculine figure or whatever. Um, they are basically shining through here and it doesn't look like they're very happy. So, yeah. All right. So it says fair man dealing with the relationship with a man with blonde, gray or white hair. So this could be someone older that you're dealing with someone um, mature in age. However, I don't know about um, in their actions. OK, you have fair woman dealing with the relationship with the woman with blonde or gray hair. This could also be a feminine energy that you're dealing with the mature um Woman, someone that is older than you, either one of these, uh, male or female, okay? You have the fan, romance, celebration, and party. Like I told you, you may end up meeting this person at a party, some type of celebration, some type of get-together or whatever. And I think this is actually going to be pretty shocking that you hit it off with this person because all of your energy is going past uh, towards this past person. All right, so these are some things that, uh, like I said, you need to clear your energy out of this past person because they're basically renting space in your heart and if you uh if it's no vacancy nobody else can get in okay so you have feathers someone you know is undependable and insincere and insecure okay wow i i added the insecure but i'm just saying most people who keep multiple people around is is for attention someone has some type of you know insecurities there of course you have the people that you know they really like the attention because they're feeling good or whatever but no a lot of times someone was hurt in the past they were abandoned they were cheated on maybe they weren't um that attractive as a teenager or whatever and didn't date around a lot maybe they got um passed over for other people 
you know, and now this person is getting attention and they're like, oh my God, I'm loving this. Let me, hey, this, I was missing this. Or someone is like, hey, you know what? Um, uh, I'm, I'm not too feeling good about myself. So I, I need someone to tell me that I look good. I look handsome today. I smell good. You know, um, yeah, I look sexy in this dress, you know. Oh, for real? All right, so, you know, Bay didn't, Bay didn't tell me this today, so I got to find somebody else that will. So they keep a lot of people in the rotation just for this, okay, for fuel. All right, so you have finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Sweetheart, I think it's with this person. You already know there is a tower moment coming with this person, for, so be prepared. The only thing that I can tell you here with this one, with this tower, please be on the up and up. And like I said, remain humble. Don't be vindictive with this person because you don't want that karma to come back. You are trying to move past this tower, okay? You don't want to create another tower for yourself, okay? So just... If this person comes in, like I said, if you're willing to accept their apology, fine, and move forward, okay? All right, shine, all right? Let your inner light shine. Don't let this situation, um, you know, stop you from moving forward and being your best person and being free, okay? Don't let this lock you into depression and I can't move forward and nobody else is going to come in. No, you kick this person, you know, give them an eviction notice out of your heart, out of your life and move forward and let your, your best self shine through. OK, and release. OK, release these things from the past. Release the negative energy that you're holding on to the guilt the shame that this did not work out, whatever feelings that you have regarding this situation, and also doubt that you won't find your person. You're going to find your person. This person that you were with is not the one that you're supposed to be with. The person that you're supposed to be with is not going to keep you in chaos, okay? I'm telling you, there won't be all this drama and headache and indecisiveness about who I want to be with and the, the towers and all this other stuff. Not when it comes to your connection. You guys may go through towers together, but not, you know, with other people coming in and out of your relationship. OK, so it's just telling you to listen, listen to your intuition, listen to your guardians, your angels, your ancestors. OK, the answers that you need are there. All right. So let's see. I feel like getting some of these for you. Or one. Just give me one. All right. Grief. You have a lot. Grief. On the bottom of this deck, you have radical rebirth too. So there are some things that you are adjusting in your life. All right. So let's see here. All right. So we have Allah. It says, give spirit your grief, hmm. ball it out, wail it out, cry it out, sob it out, shriek, shed tears, surrender it, surrender it to the divine, okay? All right, you're holding unprocessed grief. You want to skip over it and get back to normal, but grief doesn't go away because you ignore it. The only way to healing is to walk through it. Losing a loved one is the ultimate heartbreak, but you also experience grief after breakups, job loss, and disappointments. Self-love and self-care is required. Ask for support. Be gentle with yourself. Okay, so yeah, even here, Source knows that you, you grieve in a relationship. Okay, so yeah, it's, this is telling you to surrender to the divine. There's only so much that you can do about it. The only thing that you can do is heal. Okay, work on yourself. And it says, the goddess declaration is, I am supported by my loved ones, those who are seen and those who are unseen. So know that you are protected. You are being carried. You are loved. You are cared for. Um, so like I said, source is telling you to listen. All right, because there's messages coming down here for you. And also take time to nurture yourself, sweetheart. OK, take care of you. You are the only person that you have, regardless, win or lose. You know what I mean? Take this L, this lesson. You know, you have to get up and move on. OK, so get what you can do, what you can do. Get the rest of the divine. All right. And uh, work on healing through this situation. All right. So let me get I am for you. Let's see, where am I? 
I want one of these. Let me get an affirmation for my booze for today. Okay, so it says, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. I love it. All right, so whatever you went through right here, it, it will not make you and it won't break you, sweetheart, okay? This is just a season. So you will get through this. Let's see. All right, so give me a message from Spirit. It says, honor the vessel that is your body. You are being asked to take better care of your body, mind, and soul. Someone is neglecting themselves through this situation. You're so worried about... Um, I'm getting finances too. Someone is so worried about finances and love and this relationship and going through hell with this person that they're really neglecting themselves. Take some time out to do something just for you, sweetheart. Take yourself out on a date. Spoil yourself. Go to the spa. Hell, make your own spa at home if you have to. You know what I mean? Especially with COVID going on. I'm just saying. But, you know, do something for yourself, especially just for you. Okay. Heal the past, enjoy the present, and embrace the future, okay? So, just know that you are exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. There is some work that is required and change of mindset, and I do believe that you're doing that. Let me have one for shadow. All right, it says codependency. Hmm. This is a relationship addiction. You are relying too heavily on the other person for your sense of self-worth. Give yourself more self-love. Okay, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Something right here, I'm telling you, somebody's not taking care of themselves. They're putting this person before themselves. Stop it, okay? I know this hurts. This is somebody that you love very much. I can, I can feel it, okay? I get it. However, you got to love yourself more than this person because this person is going to step all over you because you're allowing them to do so, okay? So... There's that. Um, let me see. What's going on with money? Give me messages regarding finances. All right. So there's definitely some endings when it comes to your finances here. But it looks like you're manifesting brand new beginnings here. There's something that you had to walk away from. It may take a minute for you to find something, okay? But wherever you were at was not for your highest good. It was very toxic. Some things going on in the background, okay? And now that you're gone, you're possibly feeling the relief of some pressure. All right, so what I want you to know is that you're manifesting beautiful things in your life. Possibly a position where you're able to work um, as a supervisor, a boss, in some type of authoritative um, position here. You could also say to hell with working for somebody else, sweetheart. It's all about the entrepreneurship, okay? You could be your own boss right here. So, like I said, take it how it resonates. And, uh, you know, just do you. Know that things are working out for your highest good. There's some endings here, but with endings, always becomes, uh, always comes new beginnings, all right? So, like I said, I see beautiful things coming for you. I see that um, your money is going to come in a bit slow, but you'll see it grow, okay? And eventually, you'll end up financially stable. Yeah. And uh, possibly with your divine counterpart at that, okay? So, yeah, I think uh, things are, are going to work out really good for you. You have some new beginnings coming. The thing is, is that you got to get this toxic person out of your energy. Because, yes, this person is toxic as hell. I'm just saying. All right. And I think it's almost time for me to go. Do you have anything for Scorpio? Nope, it's telling me it's time to go. So, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, so, well, I got Mature Man on the bottom of the deck. So, somebody is definitely has uh, gained some wisdom here going through this situation, okay? So, there's that. There's one up. And, uh, yeah, you got some money coming down the line. So, you know. You got love coming down the line, too. You just got to heal your heart from the situation, sweetheart, okay? You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you for rocking with your girl. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel and uh, for the donations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Take care.